Hi all, this is Usman from Cornegalore. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can integrate TanStack query with TanStack router. Let's do it. Okay, so this is a project I have in which I have implemented a router using TanStack React router. If you want to learn more about TanStack router, you can check out my crash course which I have uploaded last week. Now for the data loading and routes, I'm not using TanStack query. So I won't be able to get a lot of benefits which TanStack query provides like caching and a lot of other stuff. So first of all, I would want to create a query client and wrap the router with the query client provider just like we normally do. So here we'll say const query client is equal to new query client import from TanStack react query. Then I would wrap this with the query client provider. I will pass in the client here, which I just created. And yeah, that's it. Now I would be able to use TanStack query inside this project. Now let's also add the react query dev tools here. So I will add them here. And you can see the dev tools here. Great. Basically, I want to get the query client inside each route so that I can make the requests using the query client and not normal fetch request. So in order to access the query client in every route, I can use the context which is provided by TanStack React Router by default. So I have to go to this file and here I will say context and I'll pass the query client here. Now, in order to add typings for the whole project regarding the context we have, and right now inside the context, we only have the query client, we'll replace this with another method. So I'll say create root route with context. Then I will provide in the type here. So I'll say query client should be query client. Now inside each route, I will be able to extract the query client from the context. So now what I want is I want to extract this query function and put it in a separate folder with the query key and then I can use it here inside the route as well as inside the component and you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. So I'll make a queries folder here. Here I will say for this particular route, I'll make a get post function. Then I'll copy this function. Here I'll say export const get posts is equal to query options. Now query options is a function which accepts the same params as the use query hook. So we can basically use this function to generate an object which we can pass in the use query hook as well as in other places where it is required and it provides type safety. That's its only purpose. So I'll pass an object. I'll say query key. Query key should be get posts. And then the query fn would be this. Let me remove this. And I'll import the type. So this is a function. Now here I would say return query client dot ensure query data and I'll pass this get post here. Now for this particular route, I'm using this component. So inside this component, instead of using route dot use loader data, I will use the use suspense query hook. So I'll say const data posts is equal to use suspense query. And then I'll pass the same query option that I passed in the route and then ensure query data function. Now you can see that the data is being fetched and it is the same behavior, but now I'm using the API of TanStack query instead of relying on TanStack router. Using TanStack query has a lot of advantages. For example, the data is automatically cached. So by default, the cache time is five minutes. The stale time is zero. So if let's say I go to the home page and let's say the network is slow now, slow 3G. Now if I go to the post page, even though you can see the request is still going on, you see the data here and you don't see the pending component or any loading state or blank screen. Why? Because TanStack query by default shows the cached data till the new and fresh data comes from the server. And that is great. Right now, the stale time is zero. You can also change that if you don't want the request to go again and again every time you come to the route. So I can go to the main file and I can here pass some options. So I can say default options, queries, stale time should be, let's say five seconds. So now I've opened the post page. You can see the request is gone. I go to the home route. I come back, the request goes, but I quickly come back to the post route again. Within five seconds, the request doesn't go. So you can play around with different options in TanStack query and you can use the power of TanStack query inside TanStack router while still using the loader API of TanStack router, which is great. Let me remove it for now. Now let's do the same thing for this route as well. So I will copy this. I will create a function get post detail dot TSX. Here I will say export const get post detail is equal to 
Now this time I'll make a function because I have to get the post ID as well. So here I'll say the query key should be get post and then the post ID. I'm getting the post ID here and I'll pass in a query function. Query fn should be this. Let me make an async function. Great. And the post ID would basically be coming from this function. Let me also import the types. Now I will copy this. I would go to this route, remove everything. I will say return. Let me get the query client as well. So I'll say context query client and I'll say query client dot ensure query data. Let me pass the get post detail function and using the params I would pass the post ID param here. Now you can see that if I go to the specific post page as well, it works and the data is fetched, but now using that stack query. Now I want to discuss another scenario. You can see that I have an open page. Now I have made a request to an endpoint, which is local server, but I haven't run the server, so it's down. So that is why I'm showing this other component here. Here inside this fault route, I'm displaying a component just using the user suspense query hook to get this particular function and displaying it in a string defined manner on the DOM. And this is the function basically. So what I want is if I click on try again, I want that the entire flow of running the query inside the loader and everything runs again. So that if there is a temporary problem in the server, I can basically try again and maybe now I get the response back. And if I get the response, I can display it here. So for this particular route, I'm using this component. First of all, I want to get the router from used router. So I'll say const router is equal to use router. Now here inside the on click, First of all, I'll call the reset function, which I'm getting in this component as a prop. Then I'll say router.invalidate. In addition to that, I also want to reset the 10 stack query boundary and this component mount. So I'll say const query error reset boundary is equal to use query error reset boundary. And then I'll have a use effect. So as soon as the component mounts, I want to reset it. So here I'll pass this and then I'll call it reset method. Now if I click on try again, the whole flow where I'm making the request inside the loader, etc. Everything happens again, which is great. But I still haven't run the server, so let me do that. So I'll say yarn server. Now the server is running. If I click on try again now, you can see the data comes. And I was able to handle the error really well using the stack query. So this was the tutorial regarding the integration of TanStack query with TanStack router and you saw how seamlessly they integrate well with each other. If you like this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel as well because it motivates me to make more videos. If you have any questions, you can also comment down below. As always, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.